storm. He understands what it's all about. He's growing as a fighter. He's a warrior. I mean, Tito is a champion. And I'm sure he wants to be a champion again. He's got the heart, he's got the skill, and he pulled this victory off, in my opinion. Absolutely. The Huntington Beach bad boy is back. <laughs> Team Punishment told me he was ready, and definitively he was the evening. Very impressive performance by Tito Ortiz. He weathered some heavy moments, took some heavy leather, and dished out more than his own share. What a great fight. Back and forth, both guys looking very impressive. Showed some great skills. That's, that's a beautiful MMA fight right there. Absolutely. Tito's really impressed me tonight. He showed some excellent composure. I mean, he, he saw it coming into this fight. He's very confident, very calm. And uh, he fought like a confident, calm man. We still must officially await the judge's decision. Tito seems a lot more comfortable with himself now. He doesn't have to feed off the energy and that hype. What is just Tito doing? Is he so he left the ring. Wow. He's walking around. Yeah. He came out early and Michael He's Clark going into the stage. Look at him. He's running into the crowd. What is he doing? He's freaking a spotlight runner out right now. He left. Doing. Well, that's Elvis's left the stadium. Maybe it's to take a leak. Not Tito's left the stadium. That's supposed to be Elvis's left the stadium. <laughs> what is he doing? He's there's a lot of there's a lot of hot chicks in the stands. He might have saw something he liked and just went running. He's going up to the box seats. He might have said, "Listen, if, no, no, I know what he's doing. What is he doing? He climbed to the top of the arena." which means he is simulating that he has climbed back to the top of the mountain. You think? I think. <laughs> is he that creative? Because I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'd be gassed right now if I would have done it, but I'd be that creative. <laughs> That's a tough run after you fought three rounds. Or commentated for three hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't feel gassed. <laughs> I'm more winded looking at Vin Diesel with his shades on. All right, Eddie Bravo, how'd you score it? I had the fight dead even going into the last round, but it was quite clear that Tito took the fight over. He took down Vitor a couple of times, landed some devastating elbows. You know, he, it's pretty, it's quite clear, 29, 28, Tito Ortiz. Let's see if the judges agree as they will go to the judges' scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the official decision of this. The main event of the evening, gathering up the final numbers right now. As Bruce Buffer checks in with the judges, Ivan Salaberry in the corner of Tito Ortiz. Rico Rodriguez in the corner of Tito Ortiz. Justin McCauley doing a great job preparing Tito. And there is Vitor, and we hear from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Nelson Hamilton scores the bout 29-28, Ortiz. Judge Jeff Mullen scores the bout 29-28, Belfort. And Judge Cecil Peoples scores the bout 29-28 for the winner by split decision. The Huntington Beach Bad Boy Tito Ortiz. We'd like to hear what these guys are saying to each other right now. Yeah, I would too. Not a lot more in coming to smoke, okay? Keep your head in the buffalo. Tito Ortiz v. Tor Belfort. We keep competing against each other, all right, man? God bless you. You brought the best out of me. Thank you. You heard him right there. He said you brought the best out of me, and Chuck Liddell shook his head after the decision. Interesting reaction. Let's check in the octagon with Kerry Kasem. Congratulations, Tito. 
You know, there seemed to have been a lot of bad blood between you two. Has it been settled? It was never bad blood. I came in here and I was only fighting for one reason. I was fighting for our United States troops. Each and every day those guys are in Afghanistan. They're fighting for our freedom. I'm here fighting in this octagon for the freedom of mixed martial arts to make sure we can keep growing. With a thank of Lorenzo Fertitta, Dana White, Frank Fertitta, and Zufa for making this happen in mixed martial arts. Our sport keeps getting better and better and better. The sky's the only limits just as long as we keep working as martial artists in this octagon. I have to ask you, where'd you go uh, when you took those stairs? All right, um, uh, it was kind of funny because I do a lot of visualization before I fight. I visualize me coming in the octagon. I visualize McCarthy saying, are you ready? Ready, let's get it on. And I visualize my hand raised at the end. Well, before this, I visualize going up in the audience because each and every one of these fans are the best fans in the world. We sold this place out once again. Thanks to fans like them, we keep producing and we keep making this sport grow each and every day. I have to ask you, uh, Randy and Chuck are going to square off at UFC 52. Who's going to take it? I hope Chuck takes it. That way so I can kick Chuck's ass. Me and him, we owe each other. He owes me one. He got the best of me the first time. I'll come in here the second time. But before that happens, I hear there's a little Kenny slam cock or sham rock or something like that. He keeps talking his smack and he wants to step in. Well, Chuck knows we can do it. We can do it again, bro. Anytime you want, anytime you want, bro. You won't step in the ring with me again. You know that. I'd love to step in the ring again. That ain't a problem at all. I'll knock you out again. You'll knock me out again, but I'll step in this octagon the next time. I will stop you. You're going out again. We can go ahead, and you will be the last of the Mohicans. Anyways, he'll have his time. But Ken Shamrock was talking a little smack, and I know that old man's in the house. If you care for another beating, Shamrock, step up. I'll make you remind yourself that I am Rick James, and you are my bitch. Congratulations, Tito. Here he comes. Here comes Ken. All right, here comes Ken Shamrock. Well, you know what I said before? That the Huntington Beach bad boy was back. The uh, Huntington Beach bad boy is back. I think he's pretty confident he's going to take Ken and, and Chuck on at the same time. Wow. Well, he is fighting for the freedom of mixed martial arts. Yes, he is. I think I'll just keep my butt right here and just watch this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, you never see Randy get any trash talk no, conversations with people. We got the best seat in the house, baby. Interesting. Tito doing his best to ruffle up some feathers. Wow. Ken Shamrock comes in. Vitor Belfort disappointed back inside his <laughs> locker room. Defeated tonight by the Huntington Beach bad boy. I really think he punched himself out in that second round in that little flurry. And he, he spent a lot of energy, and he never really recovered after that. Well, you have always said, and that has always been the knock on uh, Vitor, is that in the grit, when it gets gritty, that's when he falls apart. And uh, Tito really brought it, you know, really pressed him, really took his heart. Wow. We got some fired up guys again, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Kenny's a little fired up, understandably, after that comment. He's very angry. Let's check back in with Kerry Kasem. What's going on in your head, Ken? All I hear him is talking. That's all I've heard him do so far, is throwing his mouth about how he's going to do this and how he's going to do that. Hey, all I hear is you talking. You want to fight me? I'm standing right here. I accept your challenge. What about you? Do you accept my challenge? Say yes. I hear your mouth talking, but I don't hear yes. I don't hear a yes, you punk. That's right. That's what I thought. You're a little punk because you won't accept the fight. I just challenged you. Say yes. Right now. Oh, wait, 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 let's get your energy back so I can bust your nose again. Hey. Hey, all I got to say, Tito, is don't back out of this one. Step up. All I hear you talking, I hear you talking, but when it's time... <laughs> That's an angry man. And they're talking about the April 9th live Spike TV show where this fight has been offered. 
both Ken and Tito to fight on that live card first broadcast UFC on TV. I know you didn't have much of an education, but that's what you do with the pen. You don't throw it away. Sign the paper. Are you going to throw that one too? You're supposed to write with it. Yeah. Do I hear it? Hey, by the time we get back on the website and you're talking all that trash, I hope that you signed already. Because all, right. all I hear you do is talking, and that's the best thing you do. Well, he did some good talking in the octagon tonight and angered Ken Shamrock and angered Chuck Liddell. Randy, are you angry that Tito wants you to lose? Hey, you know, <laughs> he's got his motives for that. I understand that. Randy, thank you very much. Thank Captain you, guys. America, thank man, you guys. First good class. to see you both again. Randy Couture, the light heavyweight champion, Tito Ortiz. Well, that is the Huntington Beach bad boy returning to his former roots, and that is someone who is extremely confident in his abilities. You know, every division seems to uh, be loaded right now here in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. The fireworks in the light heavyweight division, the Ken Shamrock stuff, and the welterweights as well with Trig and Hughes for a rematch ahead. And then you see guys like Diaz wanting to stay right in the mix. Yeah, it's a very deep division. You know, the, the whole, all the divisions now are deep. I mean, the 185-pound division, now we have a new champion. Right. Evan Tanner stepping up in a 